Hey everyone and welcome to Beaming Notes. And today we're going to take a look at the summary of the poem On the Grasshopper and Cricket, a poem by John Keats. Setting of the poem The mood of the poem is joyous. The poem seeks to celebrate the cause of the grasshopper and the cricket, in short, the voice of nature herself. The setting is almost luxurious as in it celebrates all phases of nature. Summary Octave The poetry of earth is never dead when all the birds are faint with the hot sun and hide in cooling trees a voice will run from hedge to hedge about the new mown mead that is the grasshoppers he takes the lead in summer luxury he has never done with his delights for when tired out with fun he rests at ease beneath some pleasant weed this poem is not separated into stanzas it is separated into an octave and a sestet the first part of the poem the octave celebrates the earth in all its forms it says that the poetry of earth is never dead the earth provided poetry in the form of the songs of the birds or the call of the beasts. However, when the summer sun is too hot and strong, the birds find it difficult to keep up their routine. They find shelter from the scorching heat in trees that provide ample shade and hence are cooling. But the grasshopper does not cease its song. Its voice runs throughout the freshly mown meadows untiringly. Even in the sultry summer days, he never stops his chance. The grasshopper does not feel faint under the sun. For him, even the summer is a time for joy. Hence, when he has had his fill of fun, he finds comfort under some weeds or some long grass stalks. Summary Sestet The poetry of earth is ceasing never on a lone winter evening when the frost has wrought a silence from the stove there shrills the cricket song in warmth increasing ever and seems to one in drowsiness half lost the grasshoppers among some grassy hills the sestet begins with the earlier declaration that the poetry of earth is forever it is never ending during the cold harsh winters when one is numbed by the cold only one voice is heard that calls out to one in drowsy evenings by the fire, that is the stove, and that is the cricket. The poet tells us that during the winters, instead of growing quiet of the cold, the cricket finds a corner in some kitchen near a stove and bells out its song. The warmth coming from the stove mingles with the warm tones of the cricket who tries to keep one entertained. This song perhaps reminds one who is half asleep that the grasshopper is probably out on some grassy hill, singing his heart out. Central Idea The central idea of the poem is tenacity of the grasshopper and the cricket to provide us entertainment and joy to us through their respective songs. Their songs are the poetry of earth, poetry that never ceases to be, even during extreme circumstances. Theme Nature Nature is the major theme in this sonnet. Nature is seen as a revered figure throughout this poem. It is not difficult to trace the influence the natural world has on Keats as one reads this poem. The first line begins with the declaration that the poetry of earth is never dead. This declaration is followed by Keats trying to explain why not. In the course of 14 lines, Keats alludes to birds, the sun, trees, hedges, meadows, frost and grassy hills. All of the aforementioned are popular motifs of a nature poem. Keats doesn't end here. He alludes to some of these motifs along with their inherent qualities or their purposes. For example, he alludes to the heat of the sun, the cool shade provided by the trees or the pleasantness of a certain area of grass or weed. 
Last but not the least, Keats uses the grasshopper and the cricket as the symbols of summer and winter, respectively. Seasons Summer and winter are seen as two parallel peers who sustain the natural world. Keats posits them side by side as two parameters against which all the cycles of the natural world has to be tested. After thus putting nature through the test, Keats concurs that grasshopper and the cricket are the ones that can overcome all strife, including the extreme temperatures. Hope Both the grasshopper and the cricket are symbols of hope. They continue in their daily rituals even when other creatures cannot. They provide everyone with the hope that no matter how hard the situation is, there is always a way to overcome them. The grasshopper takes rest in some pleasant weed to freshen itself so that it can provide the poetry of earth for the entire natural world to listen. The cricket finds its voice in the midst of frost when the whole of creation finds itself silenced. Thus, hope is what constitutes the poetry of the earth. Tenacity The grasshopper and the cricket also symbolize tenacity. In spite of extreme temperatures, they refuse to give up. They carry on their jobs as if the summer heat or the winter frost cannot stop their joy. Even when the birds faint due to the heat or all the creatures retire to their nests and or shelter to escape the cold, the grasshopper and the cricket take it upon themselves to keep the poetry of earth alive. Thus, this poem talks of tenacity and dedication to pursue one's passion. Beauty Beauty is perhaps one of the most used themes in Keats' poetry. He was an ardent believer of beauty in its classical sense. More often than not, Keats used the beauty of language to express the beauty of nature. In this poem, the poet expresses the beauty of nature through its various phases. He finds beauty in the harsh as well as the mellow side of nature. He finds beauty in both the hot summer sun and the cool shade provided by the trees. Similarly, the winter has its own beauty, as the frost spins a silence upon the earth. He also talks of the warmth in the voice of the cricket that compensates the numbness of the cold. The beauty of nature lies in its balance. Tone the tone of the poem is celebratory. Keats uses his language skills to perpetuate the romantic ideals in this poem. The poem reeks of romantic touch of grandeur and it almost reads like an ode on the natural language of the earth. Conclusion The poem is then a message close to Keats' heart. He believed in the immortality of poetry, beauty and endurance of life. Keats welds together all these components in this sonnet as an inspiration to his readers and perhaps to future poets like him.